Well, Sun News Flash, a United Nations-led mission investigating a reported chemical weapons attack in Syria has come under sniper fire. Initially, the mission came to a halt, but U.N. sources say the investigation will now continue as planned. U.N. inspectors are uh, going to survey the site of alleged chemical attack, which killed hundreds in Damascus last week. Western leaders worry Syria's delay in allowing U.N. officials into the country indicates that the evidence could be destroyed. Let's get uh, live to Mark Dunn in Ottawa, who's monitoring the latest on the situation. Mark, can you bring us up to speed? Yeah, I think there's some uh, you know moving developments uh, coming out of the the White House. Pat, there's a there's a lot of uh, talk, a lot of concern about the use of chemical weapons. Of course, the strongman dictatorship of Bashar Assad says uh, they didn't, he did not use these sort of weapons on his people, blaming on rebel forces. Of course, rebel forces he continues to call uh, a terrorist. But uh, the White House seems to be shifting uh, in its position on the situation in Syria. Uh, some unnamed sources from the White House have said that, that President Barack Obama has talked to his counterparts, his French uh, counterpart, and others. And there's some documents circling around the Pentagon that are actually talking about some strategic military strikes along uh, with with the help of Britain and France. So I think that's something to, to keep an eye on. The White House increasingly uh, does not believe that the United Nations is ever going to get to the bottom of finding out whether there were chemical weapons used uh, against the civilian population, largely what you addressed earlier, uh, because it's been, been a while now and there's a lot of concerns that the, 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 the evidence has been cleaned up. The White House is more convinced, though, that it was a sad, the sad regime that used these weapons. Indeed. And uh, has there been a Canadian response at all yet, Mark? Well, Canadian response, of course, you know, we, we, uh, we pay a lot of lip service to uh, Foreign Affairs Minister John Baird, to his counterparts, uh, John Kerry in the United States, uh, William Hague in, in Britain, and of course his uh, counterpart in France. He's been talking uh, to these Foreign Affairs Ministers over the weekend. They support, of course, United Nations calls to get inspectors in there to visit some of these, 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 these alleged sites of, of, of chemical we we weapon use. Uh, that's pretty much it, though. Canada just like talking, uh, doing a lot of talk right now. Uh, Mr. Baird will get an earful later this week because the Western-backed, basically Syrian opposition uh, group that's based in Turkey, uh, their, their leader, uh, George Sabra, is in Canada. He'll be visiting Montreal, Toronto and Ottawa this week. Mr. Baird will be meeting Mr. Sabra on Wednesday in Montreal. Mr. Sabra wants Canada uh, to, 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 to raise its voice uh, against the Assad regime and, of course, help more at whatever we can provide in terms of the refugee situation because, of course, hundreds of thousands of people have fled that country into neighboring, neighboring countries. Okay, Mark, thank you. You're welcome. As we say, though, UN inspectors are visiting the outskirts of uh, the Syrian capital today. The move comes as Western powers call for military action in response to what could be the world's worst chemical attack in a quarter of a century. Meanwhile, the U.S. Uh, Defense Secretary says his department is ready to handle any and all options. Well, all those assessments uh, uh, are being made. Uh, they will be driven by, as I said yesterday, and I think the president has made the case, uh, the facts, what our intelligence assessment uh, uh, produces, uh, law, uh, legal uh, issues, uh, international support. Uh, a number of factors uh, are uh, always in play uh, when uh, any nation analyzes how uh, we would deal with, uh, sure. with a big challenge. The U.S. Congress is uh, calling for action on Syria from the White House, but lawmakers are warning the Ob uh, Obama administration against a full-scale invasion. I think we will respond in a surgical way, and I hope the president, as soon as we get back to Washington, will ask for authorization from Congress to do something in a very surgical and proportional way, something that gets their attention, that causes them to understand that we are not going to put up with this kind of activity. So while U.S. Senator uh, Bob Corker is urging action from the Obama administration, he also says any kind of regime change in Syria should be the job of the Syrian people.